What's up guys and welcome to Web Education's Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip we're learning how to create an Apple ID. Now an Apple ID is basically just an Apple account that you can use on your iPhone, on your Mac, on your iPad and even if you don't have an Apple device you can still use an Apple ID on something like iWork or other Apple services. And of course you can create your Apple ID from one of the Apple devices but the easiest way is using a web browser and you can use a web browser on any computer either on a Mac, on a PC, on your Android device, any web browser that you have and I'm gonna use Chrome for this tutorial. Now if you go to the Apple website you will not find a place to create an Apple ID. What you want to do is go to iCloud. So go to iCloud.com. For those who don't know iCloud is basically Apple's cloud storage service that you can use to store your data and your Apple files and photos from your iPhone and things like that. So on iCloud.com, this is what it looks like. It's going to ask you to sign in, but since you're trying to create an account or an Apple ID, simply click on create your free Apple ID and get started today. So that's what you want to click on. And it's going to bring up this uh, window where you can now create your Apple ID. Now what you want to do is uh, put in your details first name, your country, date of birth, and then your email address. Now email addresses are very 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 important. Your email address and password combination is actually what is called your Apple ID. But before you can use those, you first of all have to create the account like we're doing right now. So make sure you use an email address that you have access to and is very very secure then go ahead and enter the password and of course we'll get guidelines for a good strong password by Apple so re-enter your password to make sure they match and then go next the next section is where you enter your phone number so first of all make sure you choose the country code of your phone number and then put in your phone number and of course Apple is going to try and verify that phone number so you can choose here whether you want the verification to happen via a text message or a phone call. Uh, I prefer text message, so leave that checked. And of course, if you don't want these uh, emails for announcements or for apps uh, or Apple News newsletters, you can uncheck those if you don't want. Enter this capture code to verify that you're a human being. And then go ahead and click on continue. So your Apple ID has been created, but you first of all need to verify the email address you picked now, like I said, make sure you have an email address that you have access to. So go into your email inbox and uh, find that email from Apple. Here you go. Here's my email from Apple. So this is the code you need to enter on the iCloud page to verify your email address. And then click on continue. Now with the email verified, you need to verify your phone number as well. And a text message has been sent by Apple to your phone number so you can use that to verify so put the code inside the text message uh, in this window right here and click continue in the next window of course you should get terms and conditions for using an Apple ID in an Apple account uh, you should read this but uh, I've read this before so I'll click on agree and confirm that I agree to iCloud terms and conditions and there you go and that's my iCloud account which basically means I have an Apple account and therefore I have an Apple ID my Apple ID is basically the username and password combo for this account and I'll also get a verification uh, from uh, Apple telling me uh, welcome to iCloud my Apple ID is that email address of course together with the password which they won't put there but uh, that's it that's how to create an Apple ID uh, from a non Apple device. So you can now go ahead and use this Apple ID to sign in to your iPhone, iPad, your Mac if you have, and you can even use it on iWork and other services that don't necessarily require an Apple device. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris, and I'll talk to you guys soon.